Welcome to the O2 Blue Room. I'm Simon Ward. Delighted to be with you again. So please, will you welcome to the stage Mr. Jeff Parling and Mr. Tom Croft. I have to say that when I saw that game coming up, I didn't expect that style of game. We've taken a lot of criticism in terms of how we attack, but I thought today we really stepped up a mark in both defence and attack. And it, it's, 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 <laughs> it's, uh, it's tough to take when, you know, a, a loss like that when you are as dominant like that in a game for so much of the game. And obviously a small mistake, fair play to Wales, they capitalised on it, but it's frustrating. But no, we can move on. We've got a fallow week now with no game. We can work on things that went wrong and uh, go full steam into France in two weeks. Jeff, you waited a long time for that moment. Seven seasons ago, you began as a pro with Newcastle. How did you feel when it actually started and you knew you'd played for England at Twickenham? Yeah, it was obviously, it was a more relief, I'd say, than anything else. The relief that I'd actually finally got there and got to play for England and get the start. But it was absolutely gut-wrenching to think it was the bottom of a rook and I looked up and just to see that guy running under the posts, it was, you know, I thought we... The, the heart we showed in the game and the way we attacked, the way they defended against what supposedly was an, you know, an outstanding attacking threat. We knocked their big guys back. So it's just, it's really hard to take the, the final result, especially when, I mean, I thought it was a definite try in the end in the corner. The fright that you've given them today bodes well for England in the future. Yeah, of course, it is as well. I thought a, a massive factor was I spoke to Dan Cole after the game, and he said the support at Twickenham was the best he's, he's had since he's Well played. done, you guys. He said there was a moment in the second half where we got a turnover on our 22, and we kicked it. Ben Young's kicked it, and it went out, and he said that's the loudest he's ever heard the crowd. So it's, um, I think another thing we're working on is not only the performances, but we're working to kind of get the, the English public back, back with us and back on our side. You've got two weeks to prepare for France in the Stade de France. That is one hell of a challenge to go there, Crofty. You've done it before. Is this team up for it? Absolutely, massively. Um, you know, every game we've had so far has been a massive game. You know, Scotland was a challenge, never having not won there for eight years. Then it was Italy in the snow. Wales again today, our biggest challenge to date, and I really thought we stood up. And like I say, France will be another notch. You know, we've got two weeks now. The progress we made in the two weeks leading up to this game if we can replicate that again and we take that another step, you know, we'll play a France side and we'll, you know, we'll shock them. Have you done your induction song? Have you pleased the England boys on the coach? I, think I, you I should haven't, do it I'm again. not doing it again, no. I'm I not think doing you should it. do it again. <laughs> oh, pretty baby, don't let me down, I pray. Oh, pretty baby, now that I've found you, stay and let me love you, baby. Let me love you. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jeff Parling. What was the message from Stuart at halftime? I presume it was Stuart, was it? It was a bit of everyone. It was just, look, stick, stick to the script. We're, we're doing well. I think we maybe shocked them a bit in that first half um, with how resolute our defence was. It was just go through our patterns of play, get the ball, keep the ball, and hopefully eventually something will come, whether it's three points, five points, seven points. Um, I thought, unfortunately, it was probably a, a ten-minute period where maybe we, we did we didn't do that. But that's just something we've got to keep working on. That we know our game plan, our the, our attacking threats, they're all there. We've just got to keep working on it. And like Crofty said, pushing the next two games. And I think we've come a massive way already in three games. Hopefully, we've just got to keep improving.